hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys my detailed shower routine please stick around and watch till the end i love you say what you want to say to me now i want to wake up with you in the morning so your entire life can really change in a year you just have to love yourself enough to know you deserve more be brave enough to demand more and be disciplined enough to actually work for more welcome to today's video guys thank you for clicking on this video if you're new here please subscribe so my shower routine usually starts using this emulsifying ointment which i usually apply on my whole body it works as a body conditioner so it makes my body softer and when washing my body does not dry out so for bathing i usually bathe with mid lukewarm water i do not bathe with hot water because it's not good for the skin so i start by using this exfoliating glass to first wash my body for the first wash to get rid of dust oil sweat and everything that the body has the body is usually so dirty so the first wash i go in with this exfoliating glass they are so good by the way i got them from town you can get you can get them from anywhere you can get them from online shops jumia my dawa in town on the street you can get them from anywhere literally so i go in with the exfoliating gloves and if you want your body to be soft do yourself a favor and get yourself some exfoliating gloves they are really good they wash your body so well like you feel it so for the bar soap i usually use this geisha black soap that is what i use to wash my body i really love it, it makes my body so soft and I just like i just love it i don't know how to explain the feeling but i love it i'm usually so soft when i use this soap so yeah i start with that and it's very advisable to start with the with a bar soap it is not advisable to just bathe with a shower gel alone you should bathe with the bar soap first get rid of the dust sweat oils and everything before you go in with your shower gel and any other thing that you'll be using yeah so here i'm just washing my body and yeah that's it there's not much to do when all i can is thinking about you not doing well don't know where you are cause you're not here it's been way too long after washing my body for the first wash using the bar soap i go in with this body scrub i use this caris body scrub it is so gentle it is not that rough considering i have itchy skin i shouldn't be using scrubs that are so rough on my body because my body itches a lot after bathing so i prefer using this scrub so if your skin is itchy get this one it does not leave your skin itch does not let your skin eat that much like the others it is so soft but gets the job done as well so i really love it and it smells so nice as well i love love this scrub a lot i highly recommend 10 out of 10. also scrubbing your body is essential because it helps you exfoliate your body like the dead skin you get rid of the dead skin and any buildup that's on your skin and your skin becomes so soft so i usually have very pigmented skin i have hyperpigmentation all over my skin from the face to the legs to the whole body so scrubbing really helps brighten some of them so over time my skin is getting brighter on this parts that are hyperpigmented of course the hyperpigmentation like the bath marks most of the bath marks are there but it looks way brighter so after that i go in with this garnier charcoal mask it is a really good scrub for your face and everything but i do not scrub my face nowadays because i use actives and acids so i use it to scrub my underarms because i've been battling dark underarms for some time now i guess it's because of razor bumps i used to shave my armpits using a razor and that really left my underarms dark 
so i saw this hack on tiktok that you should use your face scrub to scrub your underarms and it is working magic for me if my underarms are changing the color slowly they are not yet there but they're at least brighter they're not as dark as they used to be you guys will see that after that i'm going to be shaving as i told you guys before i do not shave my underarms lately and my pain tolerance is zero so i can't wax so i use this magic shaving powder you guys have seen it and you it's a powder you mix it with water to make a paste and then you apply the paste on your armpits and then you let it sit for five minutes and then you wipe it with a wet cloth you should not wash it off with water and soap you should just wipe it the way i'm wiping here and the hair comes off seamlessly i never understand what chemicals are in this shaving powder but that's it like no pain no razor bumps no nothing it is just a seamless transition the only disadvantage of this shaving powder is the smell guys the smell if you buy it be ready for the smell it does not smell good at all but you guys can see how it takes the it makes the hair so weak so you just wipe off your hair can you imagine so as you can see my underarms are still a bit dark but not so dark at least they are doing better it's because i usually scrub with that charcoal mask scrub then after that i've scrubbed my body i've shaved so i'm going in with my shower gel i use this one from dove today and it smells so amazing it leaves my body smelling amazing extremely amazing and soft and everything nice so yeah after washing my body i go in with this intimate wash for my lady area i either wash using an intimate wash or plain water please do not wash using soap it is not healthy just get an intimate wash or just plain water it is also okay i however do not recommend this one i recommend firm fresh it's better so i then go to my face which is the last thing that i wash i'm using this epimol e bar soap for my first glance of the face however i do not double cleanse my face every day i do it three or four times a week so yeah that's what i'm doing and for the soap i usually put it on my face for some time for a minute or two so that the soap gets into the face properly i do not just rub it and wash it immediately i let it sit for some time i mentioned earlier that i do not use scrubs on my face anymore so on days that i feel like my skin needs a little bit more care than my usual cleansing because i usually just cleanse my face using my hands i go in with a face towel and just try to gently scrub using the normal cleanser that i use that way i get all the dirt out of my face and that's all that i do when it comes to cleansing and exfoliating right there on top of the moon you can sit and do nothing i wish we were both to just fly away i don't want to care it's being i'm good for my second cleanse i go in with this biobalance purifying cleanser which is my daily cleanser that i use so i'm going in with it for my second cleanse on my face and it actually leaves my face so clean and it smells so nice guys i highly highly recommend biobalance products on your face they are really really good i highly recommend so that's it for my bathing i am done with what i do in the bathroom so let's go to the after bathing care after bathing i go straight to doing my face before any other thing because i don't want to contaminate my face i go in and reapply the emulsifying ointment on my body and my face because it just moisturizes your body and prepares it to receive any other product that you want to apply on the skin this was advised by the dermatologist 
so i usually do it according to her advice and it's really nice it makes me feel good and considering i use tretinoin at night so i apply it before applying tretinoin because tretinoin is has a drying effect so you should you can't just apply it direct to your face so i use the sandwich method apply the emulsifying ointment and then i go in with a pea size of tretinoin a pea size like this a pea size guys very little tretinoin goes a long way so i apply it using the five point rule on my face and then i just massage it in in outward mo in outward motion so i don't uh, massage it going to the center of the face i massage it towards the outer part of the face if you guys get what i'm saying and see what i'm doing in the video so yeah that's what i do then after i apply the tretinoin i let it sit for a few minutes let's say two or three minutes before i go in with my next product which which is wow which is niacinamide i use this one from biobalance and guys this is the best serum i have ever used on my skin my entire life yet it is so good so yeah i go in with a few drops as well my dermatologist told me to usually use very little product and this is something that i'm trying to unlearn for me i used to think that you the more product you use the better for your skin but actually that's not the case you need to use as little product as possible that's why most of these skincare products are usually in very like minimal packaging and they are supposed to last you months because you're supposed to use them kidogo apart from the sunscreen you should use them kidogo kidogo and also moisturizer so yeah i go in with niacinamide and then i go in with azelaic acid i use this one from the ordinary again besides amount i love this acid so much it is helping fed my dark spots i still have dark spots on my face they are not visible here but they are there they are there on part of my cheeks i still have dark spots but they are faded significantly like if you see my face and the way it was like two or three months ago it has really changed i have a few breakouts here and there that's something i have had to make to make peace with the fact that i am acne prone and i'll have breakouts there is no perfect skin but my skin is healthy that's the goal period as long as the skin is healthy that's it we don't care if we get pimples here and there as long as the skin is healthy and well taken care of so after azelaic acid i go in with a moisturizer i use this biobalance soothing oil free moisturizer and that's it for my skincare routine i just apply those ones at night however i do not use tretinoin every day because it's an active when i use it every day it will damage my skin barrier my skin will be so sensitive to so many things at first i was using it daily and when i applied niacinamide my skin was itching a lot and i didn't know what the problem was until i talked to my dama and then she told me not to use it every day because it is like wearing off your skin barrier so your skin is not that protective so that's what i do for my skin every night i will however do a different skincare routine video explaining each and every step that i do both am and pm for my skincare routine so you guys should watch out for that but this is what i do at night just in case you want to know so yeah and my skin looks good it looks healthy it looks glowy and that's the goal and then for my body i apply this jagans lotion after applying the the ointment i then apply the lotion because there is something that lotion does to your body it makes you feel moisturized and as much as it doesn't have that glow but it makes you feel moisturized there is something about lotions that i don't understand i however don't understand why they leave my body Pararing, like my body will parara after my pack a lotion so i have to add a body oil after that or else so i think i have dry skin on my legs so yeah that's why i'm adding this body oil on and as you can see 
the glow is very noticeable and my legs don't dry after using this body oil After that, I go in with the body splash alone because it's at night and just because it's at night doesn't mean it shouldn't smell good. So I'm going in with the body splash alone. I do not use any perfumes at night because of how strong they are. I just use this body splash and it smells so good. It smells like food, literally. It smells so beautiful. I love it. I'm obsessed. Everything nice. Highly recommend. So yeah, that is it for my shower routine guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you learned a thing or two and that's just it. I really enjoyed filming it as well and I really appreciate if you share this video. If you like and comment, that goes a long way. I wish you guys well and see you next time. Bye!